Do you have a plan on how you're going to make this? Uh, yeah, we're going to just do it with this. Okay. Well, are you going to do color zones? Yeah. Alright. Did you decide on a color flash? Um, we're figuring that out. Okay, good. Oh, don't care. Are you making sure you have enough room to turn your robot in this corner right here? In this one? Yep, so make sure to give them enough room to turn on that corner. That looks really good. I think you'll have plenty of room that way. Very good. So you guys thinking ahead to your program? Is that what you're doing? So when you program your robot, you'll have enough room on your turns? Yeah. Good. That's good, thinking ahead. Do something like that. Yeah. Like this. We, we could do them shorter like this. We could like do it like this and then go like that. Yeah, we could do zigzag. All right, now if you do zigzag, you're going to have a challenge when you go to turn because you're not going to have an even turn. Remember what we talked about when you turn right or left at 90 degrees or 270? Yeah. Are you two prepared to do the math to make an, an odd turn? Me? Maybe, because what's between one, one, uh, 180 and 90? What's between there? What's the halfway point? No. What's halfway between 180 and 90 degrees? You're going to have to do the math, aren't you? Do you understand what I mean now? So you'll have to do a little bit of math. Are you guys ready to do that? No. <laughs> okay. I don't think this is straight. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Explain again. So this is a blue light, and then before or we click the ring, if we're going, going to go on the computer and to pick a color, I just I just randomly e pick the color with the mouse. Oh, okay. And that's what we'll be doing there. Okay, that's the plan. Now, can I give you some feedback? Yes. Your lanes are kind of narrow. Put your robot on the lane and see how much extra room you have. Do you see how it's narrow there? Do you think maybe it might be a good idea to widen your lane? I know you already started with some marker. But before you get too far into this, do you think maybe you should widen it? Okay. We can do that. You can? You can take care of that? Okay. That's a good plan. Because I think that first lane is nice and wide. But when you get to the top where it says random, that kind of starts to narrow. So how so many color zones do you have? How many color zones did you have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. So, yes, that satisfies that. How many big lanes do you have? Big lanes. And how many little lanes? One. Yeah. Two. Two and then one, two. I would also count that one as a big lane. Okay. So that's three. So that's good. And then how many little lanes did you have? You had to have at least two. So you have three. So, so you're good, right? Yeah. You have all the qualifications done. I like that. Well, I like that lava guy. I like the art that you put into this. Very good. I'm just scribbling it in. Very good. Uh, you did such a good job on your lines. How did you get them so straight? I don't know either, but you're good at that. Okay, so are you ready to put color zones in? All right. Are you going to use your favorite colors? What are you going to do? The rainbow. The rainbow. That's a good one. All right, so that's your next step. Let's get some color zones put in, and then it looks like you're ready to go and start programming, right? Yeah. Okay, very good. What? Okay, here's some feedback. Are you ready for some feedback? So your lanes have to be where your robot continues on. And when you get here, it's kind of closed off. Do you know what I mean? And then they're kind of squares instead of a lane. Yeah. Why do you have a pan Because I'm recording this. So, oh dear Lord. <laughs> don't get your face in there. I can't get your face. All right. So, you might want to redesign this and make sure they're open lanes and you don't close them off. Okay. If you need a new sheet of paper, that's okay. 
Yeah. Okay. Right, so I'm down here. Why not? And then where's your finish going to be? It looks like the... Excellent. And now you're putting your color zones in next. Remember you have to have five color zones. And this will be the big thing. Good. And as soon as you're done with your color zones, are you going to decorate it anymore? Yeah. Okay, very good. And then you can start coding? Yep. All right, very good. Oh, it's cool. This one is coming along very well. Very well. You have one, two, three, four, five. That satisfies the requirements. That's very good. Color burst at the end. You have your outlines done, so now you're going to need to do color zones. You ran out of markers, didn't you? So you have to borrow markers. I love your red in your hair. That's really nice. So you need to go borrow markers. Maybe that group, because I think they're done with their markers. So walk around the room and ask who has markers and design your color zones, and then you're all set to start programming. All right, what are we looking at here? This is very nicely done. You have all your color zones. How many color zones do you have? Um, one, two, three, four, five. Pretty much five with the color change. Six, because the color change counted, remember? Color change counted. Very good. You have nice wide lanes, but these two in the middle are kind of narrow. Are you going to be okay with that? Yeah, we should somehow make Are you going to make sure it goes slowly during that zone, right? Because do you remember the word I used? With the wobble, what's that called? Where the robot wobbles when it stops. What's that word called? I think it started with an I. It did start with an I, you're right. You're, it's in the back of your head. Do you remember it? Do you remember it? Almost. Inertia. Inertia, yeah. So you're going to have inertia issues right through these two zones. So you're going to have to slow your robot down a lot during that. Oh yeah, we just said it's speed, that's what and I And then make sure to use your weight commands, right? Whoa. Completely <laughs> Okay, now what What were you supposed to do with that before you hit the go button? Calibrate. Calibrate, that's right. And it's very important that you calibrate carefully because that's what happens is it goes off in a weird angle, right? Yeah. Oops, sorry. The first time we did it, it went like this, so went right here, we turned it, it went right. back, but the problem is it went a little too far, it went right here. Okay, so how are you going to deal with that? It went a little too far there. On your program here, on your program here, hit the end calibration button so I can see. So on your program here, what are you going to adjust? Maybe. Where did it go too far? Did it go too far on this block? Row forward? 0.39 seconds. So what are you going to do? Okay, over here we have one of the best courses I have seen. This course is just well done. Well, now what's this? What are these blue eyes here over here in the side? Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster. What's this next one? Elmo. 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 Oh my god, scary. What's the little green ones? Karma. <laughs> Alright, what's the blue ones there? Right here? Yeah. That's um, Cookie Monster. Oh, okay. And then who's the... That's Godzilla. That's Godzilla. Very good. Oh, here's here's Kermit. How did you guys do this? This is so well done. Well, like no, it. we're not. Like we're just now, who's hiding out in this in this one right That's here? That's Elmo on fire. We were just thinking <laughs> of stuff. We just thought of stuff. Is that crazy, Elmo? Okay. We does, this guy, does this guy, my favorite one, does he have a name? Fire guy. He needs a name. He needs a name. Fire monster. Okay. All right. I think you guys are ready to start programming. Now, one last thing. One last piece of feedback. Are you listening? You need a finish and a start. So, you have two natural things in your course. Finish and start. So, decide where you're going to start. That's start. And where you're going to finish. And then you two are ready to start programming. Give me that This is very nicely done. Good job, guys. I spoke. So, what do we have over here now? Um, we are pretty much done with our track that we're Okay, are you ready for a little bit of feedback? I was going to put yellow over here. That's exactly what I was going to say because you're one color zone short for the requirements. Yeah. So you need to add one. And you had that corner there with nothing in it that you could do? Yeah, or this beginning gonna, right here? We're going to okay, put very this good. as one of the multi -color So see, zones. you guys had it planned out all along. All right, very good. Now what's this guy here in the middle? That's one with the leaves. What's very one that? weird flowy. <laughs> okay. And what's this guy over that here? That was a demented cup head, I guess. Oh my god. It reminds me of that teacup ride at the, at the theme park where you get sick and throw up over the Side. That's what that reminds me. Okay, so this is a unique idea. Kind of so we're going to have some water drops. 
That's actually teardrop. It's emotions. Teardrop. Oh, oh, I like it. Just like that movie. What's it called? Inside Out. You're gonna do an inside. Oh my God, I, I'm excited. Okay, so you're starting out with teardrops, and the robot's gonna be blue during that zone, right? Yeah. And then each zone color change, you're gonna associate with an emotion, right? And then to go with inside out. Then how many? How many colors? Uh, we have eight, eight little areas. How many colors? Many colors, many colors, many colors five. Five colors. So the final three are just gonna. He's just gonna you go can do more than five. All the emotions. Just, okay. It's just gonna be teenage. Very good. Wood. Now remember, if you want to do all the emotions, you can do more than five. It's gonna be his teenage. Wood. Okay, very good. I like it. I can't wait to see this one done. This one is done and ready to go. It is so nice and straight. You have a color flash zone at the end. And you're going to start out green, very good, with the with the, the NASCAR flag to signify the beginning. That's very good. And your color zone. May I make one observation? Your yellow is very difficult to see. Is there any way you can make that darker and shade it in a little bit more? That would be perfect. Where's the yellow? Very good. I think you guys are ready to go. Mr. Petrovic. Okay, so you're remembering everything that we went over with when I did my lesson. When you begin to program, remember, it's very important that you calibrate. You use the calibration light and line it up very carefully before you do anything. Then you start coding one lane at a time. So, you change the color first. What did I say came very first at the very beginning of your program? What did I say? Yes. The speed. Very good. So you're going to set your speed lower and you're going to start with your first lane. You're going to roll forward until you stop at the end of the lane and you're going to adjust your time. Your time will not always be the same. So you'll have to play with that, won't you? You'll have to run it and see what it does. If it goes too far, what are you going to do? Yes? Lower your time. That's right. If it goes sh too short, what are you going to do? Add more time, right? Now, we all remember our decimals. You're going to use your decimal skills because if one second is not far enough and two seconds is too far, what is in the middle using your decimals, yes? 1.5, that's very good. Now what if 1.5 is still too much? Now what are you gonna do? 1 point what? What's between one and 1.5? 1 1.2, 1 1.3, that's right. So you're gonna play around with the numbers until you get your lane just right, correct? Then you're gonna use what block comes after that? Wait, that's right. You're going to wait for how many seconds did we say? Two. Two, that's right. Two. No, we said two. And sometimes you might have to wait. Three. Three, very good. So you're remembering all my directions. I'm very happy. So you're going to wait two seconds and then you're going to turn. Now, can anybody remember the difference between the left turn and the right turn? How many degrees in a right turn? Yes? No, but you're really close. How many turns in a right turn? How many degrees in a right turn? 90. 90, very good. How many degrees in a left turn? 270, very good. You guys remember this, very good. You'll remember it. Very good. And then you're going to proceed on and do lane number two. Okay? And you're just going to fiddle with your numbers until you get it just right. Any questions? Very good. You guys are ready. Okay, now remember, we are learning from our mistakes, aren't we? Every moment while we're programming, we're learning. If our robot goes out of the lane, what was our mistake? Calibration, that's right. We have to be careful. If our lane goes too far, what was our mistake? The speed or the seconds, right? The speed or the seconds. What other problems are we having? Is anybody having any other problems that they're having to worry about? 
It seems to drift that way. That's right. There must be like an angle. That's right. Now I want everybody to listen. I want everybody to get quiet and listen. I'm using my big voice. I want everybody to get quiet and listen because here's something we didn't talk about. And it's a problem that several of you are having right now and you have to deal with it. Hold your robot still, please. All right, I wanted to continue on. What we're seeing is when your robots get to a certain point, it seems to be either drifting or turning in a weird direction. Isn't that right? How many people are having that same issue? Can you raise your hand? So two or three or four groups, that's right. Now, this is caused from the floor tile. The floor tile are not perfect, are they? Is your sphere a perfect sphere? Yes. So when your perfect sphere meets a dip in the floor tile, what happens? It turns it in the wrong direction, doesn't it? So it's very important that before you start programming that you look at your floor underneath carefully and see if there are any problems. Now, this crack right here is all the way down the floor and it's raised up a little bit. So this crack, you need to avoid. Your track needs to be either on one side of it or the other side of it. Do you see the one I'm talking about? Right here, do you see how big it's raised up? When your sphere hits that crack, it's gonna wobble and go in a weird direction and that's what's happening. Can we control the floor tiles? No, all we can do is put our put our track in a different spot, isn't it? So, double check your floor tiles. If you need to brush or sweep, I have a broom. Otherwise, we should try moving your track to a little bit different space if you have floor cracks that are unmanageable. Very good. I'm glad we're, we're learning some things, aren't we? Yeah. All right, so now we're looking back at our Inside Out course, which I am loving. Um, what are you making? This what's for? the yellow zone? Happy. Happy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. It's been a long time since I saw that movie, so I'm trying to remember. What's the green zone? Disgusting. Disgusting. Disgusting green. Oh, I remember that guy now. Yes. Okay. He's a girl. So in your corner, <laughs> now in these two corners, you have diamonds with green and yellow, and then green and purple. What's that signify? Uh, he's gonna do that a little. It's a mix corner. He'll wait for a little bit and flash these two colors or these two colors. Oh, I like that. Okay, okay. And that signifies the emotion change He'll inside change out. Color, but he Very cool. Over. And then this one, he just goes crazy with all. Color. Oh, okay. Are you going to color these then? Before you go? Okay, cool. But so you guys are almost done. What's the red? Wait a minute. What's the red? Anger. Oh, I like how you did that. And it's fire. So we're going to start out here. Okay, you've made good progress on your program. So we're going to start here. Did you calibrate already? Oh, you're going. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, start it over. Start it over. Now carefully calibrate. Is it lined up just right? It's almost sometimes good enough to get on top and look down like this because it looks like it's a little bit crooked that way now. Doesn't it look like that to you? Just a tiny bit though. There you go, that's much better. Let's see. Hit the start button. Oh, that, that went much better, but it's still a little bit crooked. Not quite far enough in that lane, is it? This boy ain't moving. Almost. So not quite far enough. All right, so we're gonna go back to our program. And we're going to look where we can adjust, right? Make some adjustments to the seconds. Very good. And try again, right? Very good. All right. We are ready to give it a test. Let's see. We've made some progress here. Oh, now what happened? What happened? Do you want some good feedback? Do you want my feedback? You did a very quick job calibrating and you didn't do it very well, did you? Okay, so let's do a good job calibrating. Start it again. That was much better, wasn't it? Very good. So do you see how important calibrating is? Whoa, okay, so what happened in this corner? What did you forget in this corner? 
What in your program here? Let's see. What in your program did you forget at that corner? Um, the weight. It went the weight. Do you remember? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's find where that corner is. Where's that corner? Is it that one? No, it's wait. It's that one, right? Turn. Yeah. So you had it. Oh wait, no, you had a wait here, and then turn, and then throw forward. And then turn without a weight. There it is. Okay? So we're going to add a weight right there. And then it looked pretty good, didn't it? Yeah. It looked pretty good. I think your seconds are really good. It ended in the green. And I think you're quite possibly maybe the first team to get done. Yes. You two are doing very well. Okay? Keep going. You're doing good.